Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking the best winter sunscreens. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. I know that sunscreen is something that we associate with those warmer summer months, laying on a beach, you know, enjoying our summer vacation. But honestly, sunscreen is important that we wear it year round to protect our skin. Most content created in the skincare space will tell you to wear your sunscreen even in winter. But what they don't tell you is how to. The very best winter sunscreens and how actually you might want to be considering a different sunscreen for winter than maybe would you use in summer. Well, I'm going to correct that. We're going to talk about it all in today's video. So sit back, relax, let's talk the best winter sunscreens. Now, before we delve into this video, just that quick reminder to do all that youtube stuff if you haven't already. You could reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like. And honestly, I don't measure my own worth and value based on the number of likes I get. I don't think that would be healthy. But unfortunately, YouTube still does. The more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. So just from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much for each and every one of you that takes that small moment out of your day to like the content I create here on the channel. I'd also love to hear from you guys and what your stance is on sunscreen in winter. Do you apply it and reapply it throughout the day? Are you just a one and done style or do you completely forget it altogether? There is no judgment. This community is a judgment free community, but I would genuinely love to hear your take on it. So sound off in the comments section below. Now, without further ado, let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. So sunscreen in winter. I think, you know, a lot of us think we don't need it. We don't need sunscreen. There is no sun. Certainly here in the UK, it's very much grey and overcast pretty much all winter long. But you will still be exposing the skin to UV rays that exist around us all the time, which is why I do think it's pretty important to continue to wear your sunscreen even in those winter months. However, I take a slightly different approach to my sunscreen in winter versus in summer. And I'm going to share with you how I do that. Now, this is just personal to me. And of course, everyone will have their own interpretation of this. I just want to give you, you know, the way that I handle sunscreen in winter to hopefully help you on your skincare journey. So a couple of things I mix up. So first of all, I look for a sunscreen which is super hydrating and moisturizing for winter use. During the summer, where things are a bit hot and sweaty, I might look for something that actually is a bit more mattifying. I don't need that in winter. I need all the hydration I can get. I also don't want to have too many steps in my skincare routine, so I tend to look for a sunscreen that's also a moisturizer at the same time. Two steps in one product, so you kind of forget you're even putting sunscreen on. You kind of just you just think it's a moisturizer, and that's how I like to approach it, certainly. I also like to look for sunscreens with additional skincare benefits. My skin tends to need a little extra TLC in winter where it's a little more dryness prone, it tends to be a little bit more irritation prone too. So any sunscreen screen I like to see as having some additional skincare benefits too to just you know maximize the benefit that you're going to see. I'm also less strict with my reapplication. Now this again is personal to me but I like to reach for a sunscreen with newer generation filters that don't degrade the same way that some of the old ones do. So instead of having to reapply every two hours which some of the older generation filters require you can actually reapply it once every six or eight hours which I think is just a lot easier in you know winter when we're all really busy maybe we're just in the house we don't have time for that and so I like to go for a more longer lasting sunscreen so I don't have to reapply it every two hours like sometimes I would definitely do in the summer when I'm out and about in the full rays of the sun. So how you deal with this is kind of up to you. That's just my take on it. But I would recommend everyone, if you are if you don't currently use sunscreen in winter, my top tip would be to find a moisturizing sunscreen with some added skincare benefits that you can apply on the morning and then just forget about it. That way you've got that protection locked in and it's kind of going to serve you all day long. I'm going to make some recommendations now which do have that longer wear in terms of their performance. All the products that I'm going to share with you today have an SPF of 50 plus, unless I say otherwise, which gives you that long term high protection factor. They also will contain newer generation filters, so you're going to have some more long term performance, which is what my preference is in winter when, like I say, I want to just play it on the morning and I'm done for the day. So let me share with you some of my personal favourites. So first up, this. This is a revelation. This is the K-Secret Collagen Boosting Secret Sun Lotion. Now, I love K-Secret as a brand, great Korean brand, and this uses new generation filters, and the brand actually recommends you only need to reapply it once every eight hours. So instead of reapplying every two hours, which can become burdensome, this once every eight hours, which is amazing in winter. It's also packed full of collagen, which is one of the best hydrators, humectants, 
you're going to find on the market. It's got some peptides in here for some additional skincare benefit, and this is hands down one of the most hydrating sunscreens you will ever find. Um, when this goes onto the skin, you will be prepared to be shocked, because if you can see how this applies, it's slightly thicker than some other Korean sunscreens, which is good because you need that extra hydration. It just kind of locks it in that little bit more effectively, I think. But look at that. Gone without a trace. You can't feel it on the skin. You have no idea you're wearing it. And yeah, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, it's fragrance-free, which again is beneficial if you're looking to minimize sensitivity. And I, I just I just think for the finish on the skin, for the added hydration, this is like 10 out of 10, ding, 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 holy grail territory. In fact, this is so hydrating, you don't need a moisturizer alongside this unless you have super dry skin. So instead of thinking, oh, I've got to get another product for my morning skincare routine if I'm gonna use a sunscreen, just use this in the place of your moisturizer, same number of products, same application time, and your skin will love it. This is beautiful. I, I Honestly, when I found this, not only does it look gorgeous, not only is it quite affordable by Korean sunscreen standards, but it, yeah, it's beautiful. And they released their testing on this, so you know exactly what you're getting in terms of performance. Now, when it came to creating my own sunscreen, I wanted to make sure I did that with that winter skin in mind too. You know, I wanted it to be something that I would reach for day in, day out, and I came up with this, which is the Mad About Skin Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen. It's in the title, Protect and hydrate. And that's really what I wanted to create. A moisturizer and a sunscreen all in one. So in this product, you obviously get the SPF 50 plus, but you also get a sky high UVA protection too, which means it's gonna protect the skin against any aging and just give you that full broad spectrum protection even in winter. Um, the way that this applies onto the skin is slightly more lightweight, I'd say, than that Kate Secret one, but just as hydrating. It leaves the skin feeling, give it with a natural look. Um, not deadpan matte, not super glossy and dewy, just what I call like a natural look, which I think is really important in winter because you don't want the skin to look dead. <laughs> you know, sometimes things can look a little too matte and in winter, that's not the best look. This will just give you, like I say, that tiny, tiny bit of dewiness to give the skin a more natural and radiant look. It's packed full of beneficial ingredients to calm and soothe the skin too. So if you've got very irritation and inflammation prone skin in winter, this could be a really great option. What I'm most proud about those 100 mils. So in here, you get 100 mils versus 50 mils, which is the standard size for the other products I'm sharing. And this currently is 15% off. So it's £11.99, less than $15 for a hundred mil of product, which honestly it will last you so long. And because again, newer generation filters, you don't need to reapply this every two hours like you do some old style sunscreens, which means you can apply this on the morning, get on with the rest of your day, live your life, knowing that you've got that added protection. It's got some antioxidants in here too. And yeah, I am so, so proud. I know I'm biased, I created it, but I, this is the product that I'm genuinely the most proud of because it's quite difficult to formulate a sunscreen, put it through robust testing, and you know, come out with a product that, well, I think is as good as this. So yeah, and I wanted to give that 15% off, which no code required, it's just there on the website. Um, because as a way of encouraging people to you know, give sunscreen a chance in winter, I think you know, you'll definitely, definitely reap the benefits. My third option is this. This is the Numbuzzin Pureful Calming Water Sunscreen. And the reason I've included this is if in winter you're super oily, you know, the oil levels are still through the roof, then actually you're probably gonna want to go for something super lightweight and gel-like in texture. This is it. So again, great for super oily skin because it's the lightest of all the options here. And this won't clog the pores, won't weigh the skin down, but it will also give just a touch of hydration too. It's got some added skincare benefits in here to calm and soothe, and I think this is a wonderful option, and the one I would go for if you have super oily and acne prone skin. Still need to protect the skin, and this is the one that I would use. Um, in terms of how it applies, like you said, you could probably, I don't know if that comes across on the screen, this is much more gel-like than the other two. Really lightweight, and yeah, like I say, just feels so good, so, so good on the skin. So yeah, for my oily skinned uh, people out there, this, this is how I would go to. I use this in the summer when my skin is super oily. In the winter, it tends more on the dry side, so I'll go for one of the others, but for oily skin, that's wonderful. 
Now, I did just want to give a shout out to uh, the US viewers. Now, all of those products that I mentioned today are available in the US if you buy online. Um, they use newer generation filters, which are, in my opinion, better. They last longer. I think they give you more broad spectrum protection. But unfortunately, US sunscreen regulations have are quite dated. They haven't really caught up. So US, the FDA regulates US sunscreens and doesn't allow newer generation filters to actually be called sunscreen. So a lot of brands will formulate with old generation filters, which unfortunately don't have the same performance, but are easier to get their hands on if you're watching from the US. So if you're a US viewer and you don't want to you know, ship internationally for those, you could definitely try this out. This is the Crave Beauty Beat the Sun sunscreen. This is SPF 40 as opposed to the 50 that the others are, but still a good, good product. And the reason I'm calling this out as the best when it comes to US style filters is just the finish. It's very lightweight. It's not super thick and heavy, but it definitely has some added skincare benefit, great blend of antioxidants, and feels really nice on the skin. Let me show you how this works. Um, normally with US style sunscreens, they're quite thick. They're, or they can certainly be quite heavy. Not this, this has a really nice finish. It's slightly thicker than some of the others, and I'd say it's one of the dewier of the options that I've shared today, but a great one if you want to order from the US to the US, avoid international shipping. This is one that you could definitely, definitely try. It's not the cheapest on the market. And uh, again, this is one because it uses old style filters that you will want to reapply during the day. It's slightly less convenient, but it is accessible. So I want to share that and just, you know, include that as one of the recommendations. So there you have it guys, a quick rundown of my winter sunscreen favorites. Now do, you know, if you wear sunscreen in winter and you've already got your favorite, keep using it. Use what works for you. But if you haven't, I would recommend switching up to one of these for winter. In summer, we might want something a little bit more lightweight. We might not care as much about the hydration. In winter, it's all about additional skincare benefits, minimizing irritation, maximum hydration. And I think these products deliver all of that in bucket loads. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below and wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well, I love your skin. Take care. Bye.